In this video, we take a look at how you can bulk edit the WooCommerce products and its various properties. Here we make use of the LX Bulk Edit products, prices and attributes for WooCommerce plugin. When you have thousands of products on your store, and you want to edit some of its properties, then you can make use of WooCommerce Bulk Edit options. But the options and filters are quite less to make changes easily on your store products. This is when you can make use of the Elix Bulk Edit plugin for making the bulk update easier. So, let's take a look at how the plugin works. Firstly install the plugin on your WooCommerce store. You can access the plugin setting in WooCommerce Bulk Edit Products option. The very first thing we do is to set the filter for the products that need editing in bulk. Here you can see various filters provided by the plugin to filter the products. Like product title, tags, types categories, etc. Let us choose one product category for example. Hence here we choose clothing as the category and also you can also opt to include the subcategory. Next, we move to see the filtered products in the category, in the preview sections. You can check as well as uncheck the products in the category, which you do not need to update. Next upon reviewing the preview, click on continue. You get a prompt asking, do you want to proceed? Also showing the number of products you have chosen. Once you are sure, you can click on proceed, else you can still click on no and update the products again. Upon proceeding, you have to choose the product properties to be edited in bulk. Here in the edit products page, you can choose the right product property like images, title, SKU, shipping class, price, weight, and dimensions, etc. Here let us choose price to be edited. We can choose the regular price and then select an increase by price and enter a value 10 with no rounding. And then click on continue. Here you can either schedule the action for bulk edit now or for a later date and time by saving it as a job. Remember to tick the checkbox for revert the last update as enable undo update to undo, the updates, if any error occurs or you changed your mind not to update the price. You can also specify a name for the rule and then click on the enable option for creating a log file. Then click on the finish button. You get a new option to proceed with the update or not. Here you can either proceed or go back to make changes. When you click on yes, update, you get the notification that the products are updated. If in case, the products you choose are not having the respective property, then you get the warning message if the update has failed upon those products. Here you can even undo the changes or continue with the update. Here you can see that the updates are made and the changes reflect in the products. Now let us take a detailed tour of the plugin to understand it in a better way. Obtain the license for the plugin and enter the same here. As explained earlier, the first thing is to filter the products. The plugin provides the following filters to do the job product title. It allows you to filter products with the product titles that start with, ends with, or contains the text expression. You can also filter using a regular expression match. When you choose regular expression you get a text space to enter a value with certain flags to choose from. To know more about the same read the PHP regular replace manual for more patterns and their syntax. The link is provided in the description. Product Tags lets you choose various product tag or tags for filtering products. Product Type lets you select from simple, variable, parent, or variable, variation, and external product types for filtering. In Product Categories, you can select the desired product categories that you have created in your WooCommerce store. Additionally, you can tick the Include Subcategories option to include subcategories of the selected product categories. Product regular price is used to filter products with product regular price using the following conditions as given here. The conditions will let you choose either all products, includes products with value, greater than or equal to the entered price, or includes products with value, lesser than or equal to the entered price, or includes products with the value exactly equal to the entered price. You can even enter a value between the minimum and maximum regular price value to filter the products. Description allows you to filter products with the product descriptions that starts with, ends with, contains, or regular expression match with the text expression. Short description, allows you to filter products with the product short descriptions that starts with, ends with, contains, or regular expression with the text expression. Product attributes, if you have created global attributes in your WooCommerce attribute settings, they will be shown in this setting. You can use global product attributes to filter the products for editing. 
Once you have selected an attribute, you can select the desired product attribute values for deeper filtering. You can also group the attributes in or in an operations. The or grouping with filter products that have either of the selected attribute and attribute values, whereas the in operation grouping will filter products that have all the selected attribute and attribute values. The next is the custom attributes. If you have created custom attributes in the attribute settings on the individual product pages, they will be shown in this setting like color, size, etc. You can use custom attributes to filter the products for editing. Remember, if no global attributes and custom attributes are created, these settings will not show any options. Exclusions. Tick this checkbox to reveal further settings. You can exclude certain products from the filtered products, by specific their product IDs or selecting a specific category itself. Here if you want to reset the filter options you can do by clicking on the reset filter option. The next step is the preview option of products. You can uncheck the products which should be excluded before proceeding to the next step. If you are not satisfied with the filtered result, you can click on the back button, to go back and apply new filters. Else, click continue to proceed to the next step. Next is to edit the products. In this panel, you can update several properties of the products filtered in the previous steps. The product properties and their values that can be updated are shown here. If you want to bulk edit the product title, then, you can update product titles with the following options, set new, set a new product title for the products. Append, add custom text at the end of the existing product title. Prepend, add custom text at the beginning of the existing product title. Replace, replace certain words or full product title with the entered text. Regex replace, it replaces the entered regular expression pattern with the entered replacement value. Read more on the regular expression pattern in the respective PHP manual, the link is provided in the description. Like for example, you can prepend the title with a brand name like, My Brand. Once you do, you can see the change in the product like this. Similarly, you can make changes to SKU also. When you replace the letter, A, in the product SKU, A201, to, B, then you can see the change in the product like this. To bulk edit product visibility, you can select from the following visibility options for the filtered products, on the catalog or search page. Shop and search, filtered products will be available in both the shop page and store's search results. Shop, available only on the shop page. Search, available only in the store's search results. Hidden, filtered products will be hidden from the shop completely. For example, I'll change the visibility of all the t-shirts to shop only. You can see the product t-shirt in the shop, but when I search for the product in the search bar, the product is not found. Bulk edit featured product option here you can see three options, no change, yes, and no. If you choose, yes, the filtered product or products will get featured. If you don't want to make them featured, choose, no. Bulk edit product shipping class select the desired shipping class for the filtered products. If a shipping class is already assigned to a product, it will be replaced. Remember, if you have not created any shipping class in your WooCommerce setting, no value will be shown in this drop-down list. For example, I'll apply the T-shirt class to the filtered lighter products, then you can see that the shipping class of the respective product is changed to lighter products. Bulk edit product description and short description. You have three options here. Append, prepend, and set new for setting both product descriptions and short descriptions. If you choose, append, in the text box of the description you can enter the text to be appended along with the already existing product description or short description of filtered products. If you choose, prepend, the same action will take place except the entered text will be added before the already existing text. If you choose, set new, the entered text will replace the already existing one on all filtered products. For example, if you want to add, limited stock, under the description of all the filtered products, you can set the following in the edit option. It will show the product description as this. Bulk edit product image. You can add an image URL to change or add the image to the filtered products. The image URL is the URL of the image you uploaded in WordPress media. It will change the filtered product image to the newly uploaded one. Bulk edit product gallery images using this option you can add, remove, or replace product images in the gallery of filtered products. You can do these three actions on the filtered products by entering the image URLs with comma separated.
bulk edit product price properties regular price, you can adjust the regular price with the following options. Increase by percentage, decrease by percentage, increase by price, decrease by price, or a flat price for all the products. For example, when you apply a flat price of $20 for all the t-shirts in the store, you get all the regular prices updated to $20. Similarly, you can update the sale price too. Bulk edit product stock properties manage stock. Here you can choose to enable or disable stock management for all the filtered products and variations. Stock quantity. You can bulk update the stock by either increasing, decreasing, or replacing the stock value. For example, if you want to increase the stock quantity of t-shirts to 20 then you enter the value 20 here. Upon updating the stock value, you can see that the stock quantity is changed. Allow backorders, you can choose from the following options for backorders processing, do not allow, allow, but notify the customer, allow. Stock status, lets you update the stock status for the filtered products as in stock, out of stock, or on backorder. For example, if you want to update the stock status of all my t-shirt products to out of stock then you can set the stock status as out of stock. Upon updating the store, you can see the changes. Bulk edit product weight and dimensions length, width, height. You can add, subtract, or replace the existing length, width, height of the filtered products in bulk. For example, you want to replace the existing length of all my t-shirt products to 24 inches. The updated length size of t-shirts will be seen on the individual product page. Similarly, you can even change or add or subtract or even replace the weight of the product easily. Bulk edit product attributes If you have created custom global attributes, you can add, remove, or replace them with the existing ones to all the filtered products in bulk. The attributes can be added to the product on the individual product page. Attribute action, select the desired action from add. Remove or replace to make changes. Attributes, once an action is selected in the previous setting, global product attributes will be shown here. Tick the desired attribute checkbox to apply changes. Product attributes values, the values of the respective attributes chosen in the previous setting is listed in this setting. For example, if you have an attribute called, color, then its values can be different colors like red, blue, yellow, green, and so on. This setting helps in choosing only a specific attribute value for adding, removing, or replacing values to all the filtered products. New attributes values. If you wish to add new attribute values for your products, you do not need to go to your WooCommerce attributes settings. However, if you need to add a new product attribute, you should use the default WooCommerce attributes settings. With this setting, you can add or replace new attribute values. You can add or replace multiple values by entering one value in each row. Used for variation, you can choose to enable or disable whether the newly added attributes should be used for variation or not. For example, when you add the new product attribute, color, to all the products. You can add new attribute values like different colors of your choice and then enable the same to be used for variations. Then in the product, you can see the added variations. Bulk edit product tax status and tax class you can set tax status and tax class for the filtered products by using this feature. Before that, don't forget to enable tax rates and calculations in the settings tab of WooCommerce. You can set the tax status and class for the filtered products in the tax option in the update the products tab. There are four options available for tax statuses such as no change, taxable, shipping, and none. In tax class, you can choose no change, standard, reduced rate, and zero rate. You can choose from the drop-down menus according to your requirements. Bulk edit product variations You can do a bulk edit to the product variations by changing one product attribute value to another value for the filtered products. You can enable the product attributes available in your WooCommerce site to interchange its value to another value for the products. For example, we can change the blue hoodies to green using this feature after updating this all the hoodies which has blue color variation will be changed to green bulk edit product categories you can bulk update your existing product categories for the filtered products you can choose to add an existing product category remove a category or overwrite the selected category to the filtered products for example we have removed the clothing category from t-shirts products 
Now the t-shirt category is shown in the product, after removing the clothing category. Bulk delete WooCommerce products using this feature, you can delete all filtered products. You have two options here, move to the trash and delete permanently. If you choose, delete permanently, it will delete all the filtered products permanently. If you don't want to delete a product permanently and need to restore it in the future, you can choose, move to trash. If you choose that, you can find those products in the, trash, on the products tab. You can delete a product permanently from this tab if required. Once all your settings are configured, click continue. The schedule settings allow you to apply the bulk update operation at a scheduled time. You can also save the job for future use. In addition to this, you can even choose to revert the changes immediately or at a scheduled time. There are two actions for scheduling jobs, 1. Perform the bulk edit now, allows you to bulk update products immediately. You can choose to save it as a job by ticking the respective checkbox next to the action settings. This will save the settings as a separate job, allowing you to use or manage it in the future. 2. Schedule it for later. You can choose to perform the bulk edit operation at a scheduled time. You can specify the date and time for the bulk update operation. Also, you can revert the changes at a specified date and time. This feature is helpful when you want to apply bulk changes to products for only a specific period. Enter the name which is optional, here enter a suitable name to identify the jobs. By default, jobs will start from, job underscore one. Create a log file. Tick this setting to create a log file of the settings. The log file will contain information related to all the product fields that are updated. This loft file can be downloaded from the jobs dashboard. Click finish to proceed with the update. Once all your filtered products are updated, you'll see a success message indicating that all the products are updated. Custom meta field settings. Go to the settings tab. Just like WooCommerce product fields, you can also bulk update custom meta fields from third-party plugins like LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode Plugin, LX DHL Shipping Plugin, LX EasyPost Shipping Plugin, LX Australia Post Shipping Plugin, and so on. For example, to update a meta field called Tariff Code for LX Australia Post Shipping Plugin, you need to enter the meta key of the equivalent meta field in this text field. You can enter multiple meta keys by separating them with commas. Once you save this setting, this field will appear at the end in the bulk edit operation settings, as shown here. You can also bulk edit prices based on user roles using the LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode, Wholesale and Role Based Pricing Plugin. Manage Jobs section. Go to the Jobs tab. In this tab, you can view all your saved jobs. You can perform quick actions like editing or copying the job, performing a quick bulk update, reverting the last update of the respective task, delete or cancel the task, or download the log file. How to undo the last update. If you are not happy with the last update to your products, you can revert the changes easily. To revert a specific job, go to the Jobs tab and click on the Revert icon in the respective task to revert. Remember, you can only undo the last update if you had updated the products with the checkbox being enabled. To undo the last update, Go to the first screen used for filtering the products and click on the Undo Last Update button. In the next step, you'll be shown all the changes that you have made in your last update. If you have made multiple updates, tick the respective checkbox of the setting you want to revert to its previous state. Click on Continue and confirm your action to proceed further. If the Undo operation is successful, you will see a pop-up window showing the success message. Hence the changes are undone. This is how you can easily bulk edit WooCommerce product properties using the LX Bulk Edit Products, Prices and Attributes for WooCommerce plugin. For more updates, visit the product page, refer to the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.